Hey, this is Shiraz just giving you a heads up that when energy shifts, I yawn and I cough. So you're going to hear that in the video and just giving you the heads up. I'm not sick. I'm not tired. That's just how it goes. So here we go. Enjoy. So I've been, I've been sort of struggling, um, dealing with my partner's daughter. She's, she's a teenager and, um, things were never fantastic, but like over the last little while, things have gotten quite worse. I don't know if this is just like regular teenage drama or what's going on, but, um, you know, you never know what kind of mood she's going to be in. And it's just become one of those situations where I feel like I'm walking on eggshells. Okay. Um, every time I'm there. Um, and in some ways, I guess just to keep myself sane, I feel like I have disconnected and, um, and I don't care. And it really, that really bothers me, you know? Um, yeah, so that's it. Okay. It, why does it bother you? Because I feel like I am a caring person and you no, know, I care about the people that are in my life and I try to help and I try to be there for them. Um, and I, I don't know, I'm somehow emotionally attached to people that I love. Okay. And in this case, I just feel like I have completely like disconnected, I guess, to protect myself or whatever. And it's just bothering me because I'm like, oh my God, like maybe she needs help too. Maybe she's just going through some teenage stuff and I just, I can't deal with it because I feel like you know, every time something's going on, like I'm just on a, an emotional roller coaster. You're muted, Shiraz. I know. <laughs> so, <laughs> do you have to get along with her? I do get along with her. Like I do, I get along with her. It's just I can't deal with this this drama, this constant, you know, not knowing what what you're going to find when you arrive or when she arrives. Okay. But other than that, like we do get along, like she actually seems to like me. I mean, she's okay. Okay. You know, so. It's interesting. Is she supposed to have drama? Well, based on her mother. Yes. Okay. What do you mean based on her mother? Well, she, her mother's kind of crazy. So it's a household of drama. There's always drama happening like in that household. Okay. So your story is that there's always drama in the household. In, in her mother's household, yes. I do not, I met her mother only once. And let me tell you, that was exciting. Okay. So here's what's happening is she's buying the story from her mom about drama. Okay. Hold on. And she's still in that story when she gets back to your place. So yes, but the, like I'm, like I feel bad that I don't care about her anymore. So that's my my issue on on this side, right? Like I feel like I'm a bad person because, you know, I disconnected from it because I can't deal with it. Okay. So, but there's there's a couple things there. Number one is disconnecting the only way. Wow, the, the word survive is actually coming up. Is disconnecting the only way you can survive in this situation? I don't know. I suppose that's the only thing that's come up for me that I don't know, that just that I could that, that like that I could see as a, a another way out. Okay. So I don't know if you I mean if you have another way, just please share. So remember that whoever's story is strongest wins. So uh -huh. when she comes back, she's in a drama story. And it's not like you have to push your story on her. But if you are firm in your story that everything is calm and there isn't drama, it's just, there's just flow when, when you're in the household. Right. And you're absolutely right. That's how things have gone in the past. Okay. Okay. It's just like 
the, this last little while, I think it's all started with COVID with, you know, lack of school and lack of um, that kind of like schedule for her. Like everything was just freaking upside down. Okay. You know? But before, you're absolutely right. Like when I was there, like everything was calm. Like we had a nice time. You know, everything was pretty good. Okay. So you've shifted your story about what it's like in the home. So remember that it's, and, and this is hard because there's other people involved, but it, it always has to start from you. What's your reality? What's the story you're creating? So, well, my story right now is that I don't want to be around her and I'm struggling with that as well because I want to see my partner. And I mean, yeah. when he has the kids, what, what am I going to do? Not be there? That's a possibility. What I'm saying is the story is that you, you can't be there when he has the kids. There's too much drama when he has the kids. That's the story that's playing out. That's the story you're trying to avoid. When you can alter the story to something that works, you don't need to, to avoid it. And, mm -hmm. it sounds, I mean, and it sounds, well, how do I alter the story of what happens to that girl? But I've seen it over and over and over again that when you you step into a different story, other people shift around you to match your story. So, okay. So, okay, so let me ask you this. Do you have to match her story? I don't want to, no. That's not what I asked. Do you have to match her story? Do I have to? No. See, that's not coming up true. How is that even possible? If you want to get, a, okay, so truth, if you want to get along with her, if you want to relate with her, do you have to match her story? Ow. Yes, yeah, say that again, please. If you want to get along with her and if you want to relate to her, do you have to match her story? I want to say no. But that's not what it's coming up, is it? Right. So that's what's going on is because you want to have a relationship with her. You're trying to match her story, but right now her story sucks. Mm -hmm. So when you don't bother matching her story, you just stay who you are and let her relate to who you are, not you mirroring her story. Then it's actually a more genuine connection and her story loses its power because you're no longer co-creating it with her. You're in your story. So are you willing to destroy the belief that in order to get along with her, to relate to her, to love her and have her love you, you have to match her story? Yes. <coughs> Ooh. Wow. Okay. And now, are you willing to step out of her story of drama? Yes. <sighs> I guess technically it's her mom's story of drama that you bought from her, but it's still the same thing. Yeah. Okay. How does that feel? Um, I don't know. Something's happening. Okay. I feel like a little bit more heavy on the chest right now. Okay. Do you feel like you'll be as close to her if you don't buy her stories? Yes. That did not come up true. So are say, you, say that again. Say that again. Feel you'll be as close to her if you don't buy her stories. No, sorry. I wanted to say no. Okay. I misheard your question. I thought you were asking it backwards. Okay. So are you willing to destroy the belief that you won't be, be as close to her if you stop buying her stories? Yes. <laughs>
and it's just it's even a little more general. Are you willing to step out of the story that everyone has to buy each other's stories to have harmony in the household? Yes. <gasps> Ooh. <coughs> okay how's that feel it feels better i have to say there we go yeah and um thank you for reminding me of that because you're right like i you know i guess i must have bought into her story and before that i was just me i was doing my thing and everything was super Whenever something shifts and isn't going into flow anymore, always check first. Yeah. And, worry. <laughs> and then if, if it's yours and you can't shift it, then you call me. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Thanks, Shiraz. You're welcome. Hey, this is Shiraz. And if you made it this far, please click like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. And if you would like shifts like the person in the video, subscribe to our monthly magic program. The link is in the description. You will get monthly coaching as well as emails going out to help boost your vibration, your wealth, your success, and as well as a lot of other perks. And remember, be well, be aware, and be magical.